Yo, what's up, guys? It's Elena Games here, back with another video. And today's video, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to switch things up because I've been doing a lot of Dokkan Legends and you know, uh, occasionally the Sonic videos. Um, and you know, just a lot of gaming stuff as our channel is based off of. But I thought maybe today we could go ahead and look at some edits and stuff from some of my friends, um, some of my graphic designer friends, and just people that I've met in Discord servers, and see, uh, look at them all, you know, just like, rate them, give them praise, criticize, um, maybe like things they could, just advice they can improve on, and you know, all that good stuff, and just kinda look at some edits, cause I, as a graphic designer, um, I do really like to look at other people's work, and just not necessarily compare them, right, but to, you know, just, Give them what they deserve. Tell them like, oh, this you did good on this, or oh, I think you could do this and it would look really good. It, it could help you out really well. So, I, I just wanted to dedicate the entire video to that because I feel like we don't cover enough graphic designing stuff on this channel, and it's something I really like to do. Now, disclaimer: um, before we start the video, I'm definitely not a professional graphic designer, so my opinions are not going to be that of a professional. I'm not trying to say I'm high and mighty or anything. I just simply like looking at people's stuff and in I'll just be putting in my opinion what I think is like is necessarily needed or could be used to help the edit or thumbnail or whatever they did banner it doesn't really matter any type of graphic design and work so this started out with uh, me I made a post in my friend's discord server he gave me permission to announce this entire video and I had a bunch of people submit stuff to me in my DMs on Discord. Um, I'll definitely leave the server link in the description below, and I'll leave my tag there as well if um, you'd like to maybe reach out to me through Discord. I also always have my Twitter there, so you know you can DM through there as well. If you join the server, you might be able to be in more videos like this, because after this video, I might have to do a second one, depending on uh, how much I like the video and um, how well it does, I guess. So, it did start out in the server. We, uh, I just made the announcement, I said, hey, if you wanna uh, join, join, just DM me. I'm gonna be looking at stuff, I'm gonna be giving advice and all that. And we had a lot of people join, so I don't wanna waste any time, because I definitely think this video could end up being a pretty long one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna waste any time. So let's hurry up and let's, let's get into this. Um, I've got a lot of people to get through, so without further ado, let's go ahead and look at some graphic designs. All right, so I'm looking at these from my laptop and then I'm just gonna edit them on to the video um, as I as I edit. It's, it's gonna make editing a little bit iffy, but well, uh, we'll hope it goes well. So first person we're doing is Rooster. Um, definitely a, a acquaintance I know. Um, I wouldn't say we're on like friend level right now, but we, um, I've definitely spoken with him a lot and I've seen him in a couple of Discord servers. Um, that we do graphic design and we just you know we vibe. he's a cool dude he's a cool dude so first thing we got here is a Majin Vegeta banner uh, the size looks like it's a YouTube banner um, and it's like a concept with like Dugo I don't know I don't think Dugo actually uses unless he did I'm not sure um, first glance at it I like it I think this is cool um, I, I, I definitely like Majin Vegeta is great um, this render in the center, I really love this render. I think this render looks really good on most edits. Um, just the art itself is good. Um, text, I I, I think I really, I really like the text. Um, this like little shine here, the the white shine here, looks really cool. Um, did pretty good with the text. The font's pretty nice too. It fits Dugo's style. Um, if you guys know him at all. Um, then you got the two modules in the back, the, the Twitter thing. Um, I would definitely say the Twitter uh, font could be changed uh, maybe just a simple simpler just like more uh, modern looking like this is like a, he gave it like a 3d effect to it like, I don't think that was necessary um, at all um, particles look nice here uh, I when I change the particles I don't know I'd have to test it in like fo Photoshop myself um, I, I don't know how blue or maybe just white particles would look maybe it'd look a little bit better I, I think he probably did it to match with the uh, Final explosion like effect particles, you know, final explosion is like a yellow thing. Um, all, while we're on that note, in terms of coloring, uh, maybe with tint, it looks like there is, is already some tint here, but maybe like manually put some glow on the edges of Majin Vegeta, make them a little bit blue to fit in with the background. I think it would look really nice. Um, and then the, the things in the back, the, uh, the renders in the back, they, they look fine. Um, I'd probably try not to have on this left 
not uh, Majin Chi. They're probably trying not to have the effect going right into his face. But besides that, I think um, they're they're done fine. Um, could there be other ways to do it? Yes, and maybe more creative ways. But I think this definitely gets the job done. If someone was just saying, "Hey, could you make me a Majin Vegeta banner?" I mean, I think that I def this is definitely good enough to work. I think it works really well. And props to him because YouTube banners are definitely not uh, they're definitely not my forte. Um, I'm actually I'm pretty proud of the one I have for our YouTube channel banner, but. It, most times I, I don't feel great about them so honestly for what the space he had and everything here um, I'm not sure what the background is kind of hard to see but pretty good um I think just some little touch-ups and cleanups like maybe some of the effects are a little bit um covering the text a little bit too much but I, that's like little nitpicks and stuff so overall in all I think this is pretty good I, I'm not gonna be going through these rating though I'm just gonna be giving my thoughts on them so that's the first one he sent uh, a good amount actually okay um We'll go on to the second one. The second one is a profile picture, also with uh, Dugo in mind for Buhan. Um, as soon as this loads on Discord. Um, okay, I, I I definitely like this. He showed me this in um in, in the server I'm talking about that I made the announcement. In. He showed me this, and I was like, okay, text looks pretty cool. The font's interesting. I don't think I'd personally go for this font. Um, it just looks a little awkward. I'm not sure what it is. If it's maybe it's the 3D throwing me off with the text. Um, the lens flare is a nice touch. I think there could maybe could have been toned down slightly just so it blends in a little bit more because it's like kind of visible here that like it's almost overbearing um, the letter. But like if you just like made it a little bit smaller or maybe just turn the opacity down a little bit, I think it would blend in pretty nice. And that that would it, it's it's the it, the idea is good. The idea is really good. Um, slight glow in the eyes here. Nice touch. Nothing too crazy, but it's shouldn't be crazy or else it just takes away from the rest of his eyes and one of the parts of Buhan that you know makes him a bit more menacing is that you know the black eyes instead of like white eyes or black, like black pupil or whatever so um definitely good there um I'm not sure what this background is is this just like a Dragon Ball Legends background I can't tell I don't know um one for blur on the hands I actually really like this I, I like this effect here um I, I like when you I always, I'm a sucker for blurred things in the front and then like giving things a depth of field effect, um, or at least a pseudo depth of field effect. I think it's it, it's really cool when you do stuff like that. Then got some effects in the back, pretty pretty simple effects, nothing crazy. Oh, some particles here, um, just some lines. Nothing on the crazy side. I think the text is what is like supposed to bring this this edit out and this profile picture out, and it makes sense. I mean, it's a profile picture. That's kind of what they do. Um, and I think it, it gets the job card. I would just personally, I think I would have chosen a different font. I think that's the only thing here. Um, like even like the text looks fine, e even as it is. But I probably personally would just chose a different font. Um, but nothing against that for sure. Nothing against that for sure. Another one of Roosters. This this is a cool one. So this is a Dragon Ball Fighters um, edit challenge we had in the server. Um, that was really really cool. It was really cool. Um, I I participated. I'm a judge for one of the for these uh, challenges, so I don't formally participate but i did make one and i had fun doing it um this was really cool in my opinion uh like i said i'm a sucker for rocks and stuff and like things in the front game board this this does it here um not to the same effect as it maybe could have but it does do it and it looks cool for sure it definitely looks cool like this um my my, my only gripe with this i think probably just that the rocks you know super saiyan 4 vegeta either could have been blurred more just so they don't look too crazy or just like moved so they're not like they're, they feel like a little bit too close to his face um besides besides that i guess even the rocks and gojita blue side as well um but besides that i can't really say too much about it like it's it's definitely good it, it works um i really liked it i think his was first or second or something in the challenge it, it, it was really good um obviously this Gogeta render here as you can see the Gogeta blue is like not cut perfectly but it is what it is sometimes getting fighter stuff is a little bit difficult and it looks like there's some sharpen used um, on the edges of the jacket and it looks like it's a little bit too much here um, it happens it happens to me all the time so I mean it is what it is but all in all it's still it's still good I think this is definitely the type of edit where you don't put like a bunch of like effects in the background um, and lightning because it would just take away from it and is a Merge Zamasu Fusion Zamasu um, this one's really on the simple side. I see some Dragon Ball Legends effects here. The linear dodge? I can't tell. Or maybe the effects are just placed. I don't know. I can't really. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, 
it's, it's just a little, it's a little on the simple side. I think that's that's all with this one. Um, colors are pretty cool. They're different. They're definitely different. Um, the render quality is what takes away from this, I think, the most. And I think he just didn't do that much with the render itself. Looks like he didn't really put much sharpen from what I can see. Not much shadow difference, like lighting differences with it. Saturation doesn't look any different. It just looks like he kind of just put the render there and maybe did some shadow stuff, actually. He might have done a little bit. Um, but this, this one's just a little on the simple side, in my opinion. I think that's all I can really say. Like, if I had to just say anything, I would just, like, put, like, something in the back. Like, whether it's lightning. Like, lightning works as a good background effect, especially if it's blurred, so it's not, like, too overbearing. But it's just, you know, something's there in the back. Uh, particles is a good thing for the front, which he did do. Um, I definitely like that. I think this would just look a lot better if the render is good quality. It's unfortunate. It sometimes just takes away from it. It's a layout. This is a cool layout. I like this. Ultra Gogeta and Ultra Vegeta. I like this. This is cool. I would I, I would use this for sure. Um, subscribe for no shaft. <laughs> um, I like what he did to the lines here. Blue and uh, blue 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 and yellow. Um. The text looks real nice. I really like the text. 3D. I like the letter. Yeah, yeah, the text is good. And they use different fonts for the side. Um, for this side, for the Ultra Vegeta side. I like that, I like that. I like the glow on the guitar earrings. Looks nice. Goku and Vegeta in the back. Too much sharpen on Goku, but uh, not too bad. Uh, not, it's not horrible, but it it's definitely visible. Um, I like this, like, these dots that he used on Ultra Vegeta. I don't know what, the, what, what effect this is, actually. I know there's a unit who has this, too, in Legends, but I don't remember who. Um, I like that. I like that. It looks cool. Um, let's see. The electric on Vegeta, really, like, I, that's, like, it's really, like, speaking to me. That I don't know. Something about the electric there, like, it's just, like, mm, it looks good. I think the text is what's, like, really bringing this out, though. Oh, I didn't realize he put these, like, uh, the yellow and blue streaks across the text. That's really cool. Um, particles on Gogeta side look nice. They look good. Just bring it out a little bit. I, I, I can't complain. This one's good. This is a good one. This is a really good one. This might be my favorite. This is probably my favorite so far. This one. This layout. I like this. Um, this video is going to be a long one if that's the case. Alright. Super Vegeta uh, profile picture next. Um, nothing crazy here. I think first thing, just looking at this, I would definitely say... If you were gonna go with all this lighting here, with the Vegito, the highlights, like, you know, making him uh, brighter, then I would definitely maybe blur uh, some of these effects, just so, like, they don't look too crazy bright. Like, the, just this effect in the front. And then the particles, I would change their color probably. Probably just white. Even, like, the orange-ish yellow could work. Because um, I feel like you're going for too much with the yellow, and then he's yellow, like Super Saiyan. Got the yellow on the earrings got this yellow effect but then you want blue like it's a it, sometimes it works in this case because it's in the foreground i don't think it works as well but not bad it's not bad by any means like it's definitely not bad i would probably show the different effects than uh this one in the front here i just don't like this effect personally um but i mean yeah, it's not bad it's, it's not bad we've got it's just is this a thumbnail or is this a banner for oh banner for discord this is a banner for discord Okay, uh, is it Kaiku Nation? Is that, is that how you pronounce that? Um, looks pretty good. So this is the Dokkan art in the back. This Ultra Vegeta render looks weird. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. What, it, what, 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 what's done with this? Like, is softened? Is that what happened? I don't know. The eye glow is cool. Um, but like his saturation looks messed up. I don't know, it just looks a little bit awkward. Um... The text and stuff for the, uh, like I said, Rooster's text seems pretty good all all in on. I, I can't complain with most of the text work. And then the effect's kind of simple as well. I don't know. This one's not showing too much. I think it's just Super Vegeta looks weird for the most part. Like, maybe if you just kept him normal for the most part, I think he would just, this would look a bit better. Unless this render is just completely different. Oh, is this the cut out one for when he wasn't even out? This That might be what this is. When its art wasn't even out, like officially in the files, this, this I think that might be the case. It maybe just got cooked by the render being not the best, but still the saturation on his face looks here. Like you see, how it looks kind of like grayish, not or greenish. I don't, I can't even tell what it is, but not really like 
Or maybe that's the effect of going for the purple and yellow like contrast right in the middle. Maybe that's what's going on right there. I don't know. Something about Vegeta I don't like that much. And curse Dokkan for having these bad render qualities in the back. Like, like, oof. You can only find them in like the files of the unit, the assets, but man, the files just, they don't give you good, uh, good renders in terms of, uh, quality. It's, it's actually, it sucks so much. It's just stupid. Ooh, okay. We got this Gogeta Blue, um, overlay. So this is for him, I guess, or maybe just the text for him. Um, I like this glow on the vest on this left side. Um, nothing really goes crazy about this though. Like this is definitely one where I think this text is a bit like it's definitely not on the same level as before. Um, this is fine. I think I think it's fine. Are, are some of these not even Dragon Ball Legends effects? That's what it seems like. Like he got these effects from something else. Cause this effect looks like something you find off of Google. Cause I've seen an effect that looks like this. This like purple on the uh, right side of the uh, layout. And then I guess he got the, I, I don't know. The sparkles are nice on this side. Um, nothing really blows my mind about this. Um, it's good. Like it's definitely not bad. None of these have been bad, but they're just like, maybe some glow on the Goji this maybe would have added to it. Maybe that, maybe that would have been nice. All right, we got some banners. I'm gonna go over these banners quick so I don't take too long. Uh, Kai, text looks cool. Text is cool. I like the background. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna complain about this. This looks, this looks good. I'm gonna speed blitz these. This, the okay, an Akatsuki banner. I think this is like a YouTube channel, a group. Um, I see what he was going for. Uh, uh, the red, maybe. Just, I think this the text needs like something to like it kind of like looks too. What's the word? It blends in maybe a little too much. <laughs> uh, maybe that's the issue. And then I think some of this, like, it looks like this was made and they put a filter over it. Which, if that was, then I could see why there's some of these issues. But maybe this, like, this should have been like a brighter red, the eye on the uh, mass sand. Or I guess the mask of black. Um, it should have had like a different red, but like that stands out. Because I think that would have, like, because everything else is just one red and then this one's just different. I think it would have brought out that part of it. Since he did go to the effort of glowing the eye in the first place, I think if he did that, that would have looked really cool. Um, put the, some overlaid character um, characters into the text. I think the text just needs to be brought out. Like there needs to be like a stroke on it or something, something just to make it go. Out. And then I mean the background's very basic, just some particles in the back, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, could probably just use something there, like like I always say, lightning. Like it it, it, it brings things a lot a lot away, but uh, not too not too bad, not too bad. Um, another. Um, I don't think these Dragon Ball Legends like black uh, paint effects need to be I don't, they don't need to have draw shadow on them i don't think uh besides that, i actually like this i like this like if the, if that was actually gone if these are gone and maybe just replaced with like an effect i think this actually looks pretty cool i mean the text is much more basic but it gets the job done for sure can't complain with this i mean it's pretty good like using three render looks a little bit um degraded in quality but i'm not sure if uh that's discord or not i don't know and last, I'd probably put uh, a little bit of saturation in the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's probably about it. Uh, honestly, besides that, it's it's it, it gets it's fine. It's it's nothing. We've got this freeze at them. Um, I like what he did in the text in the back. Like it's like a glitched effect. Um, that looks cool. Kind of like something you'd see like on a Jinemba thumbnail. Um, this effect. This is one of Angel and Freeze's effects in the art. I think this on this one, maybe the rocks need to be darker. I think that might be the case here. Uh, I don't know. There's something about it. And then there's like no glow on the Frieza, which I think could help. Um, I'm not sure if he has drop shadow. It looks like he does, which I think if you replace that with glow, it'll be a bit better. Um, this rock next to Frieza uh, that's covering the Z, I think could have either been made smaller or could have just been erased. I don't think it needs to be there. And then some particles. Oh, there's some particles actually. Yeah, this effect does have particles on it, to be fair. Um, maybe some sparkles or something in the front. I think would look cool. Um, maybe could have like put extra glow on the the purple part on his head. I don't know. Could have brought it out a little bit more. Something just about this feels a little bit like cluster filled. Like it just feels like it's like a lot in your face. Um, I, I feel like this is rock. This rock is throwing me off. I don't know why. And then the rock in the front. I like. I said I like these, but I think it's 
blends in a little bit too much. Is that what it is? I'm not sure. That's what I was saying, maybe darker. I don't know. It's definitely good though. It's definitely good. Um, probably yeah, just darker rock and then this rock next to Frieza here on the front. Like, just get rid of it. I, I think it could just be gone. Stano snap that, honestly. All right, so next we've got my boy JB is a gamer. Um, he's relatively new to the graphic design, I think. Right? I, I think so. Um, so there's probably going to be a good amount to talk about here. Although one person took 20 minutes, so uh, ooh, this video, <laughs> this video. Um, uh, let's just get started then. Kefla one, this isn't bad. I I I I can't. This, this is not bad. Um, if if I just like make a quick, if I scroll through quickly here. I would definitely say this is like his best one, his Kefla one. I think this Kefla one's his best one. His effects just look the most natural here. Um, it works with the green and all that for Kefla. Put some glow on the tips of the hair. Looks nice. I like that. Um, I think Kefla could be a little bit saturated. Uh, maybe some sharpening on Kefla could have been nice. And maybe the background could have been darker instead of like a green. It should it could have been like a more like maybe like a really dark green or like closer to the black side. Um. And then if you put like particles on the back, make it like a subtle um, look. The edits look really cool like that. Like that style, they look real nice. Um, but for what this is accomplishing, I think this is fine. A Vegito. Was this his submission for the Fido's thumbnail? I don't know. Maybe this was just before. Um, it definitely could use some work. Uh, a, a couple things here. So this render in the back of Vegito, um, off, like just off of everything. It just looks a little bit out of place because a bunch of effects are covering it. So it just, it's not the best, it's not the, like, it's not integrated the best, I guess I could say. Um, this Vegito render is, I mean, it's visibly just not cut out the best, unfortunately. Fighters, they may be like that sometimes. Um, unless you have, like, a really good cutting uh, background eraser, then it's, it's kind of hard to do that. But, I mean, it's very visible with the way he did his glow here so that's why i'm bringing it out and then yeah i think it's just a matter of like some of these effects just aren't blended in the greatest right like they're here but they're, like the particles but they could have been blended in better um i think the particles actually you get away with the particles a bit more if this vegeto render was in the back here but if you wanted to go for this vegeto render that bad then i think you just need to, you, we need to change some stuff uh with some of these effects like covering its face like then we just and then at least you, you'd be you'd be going somewhere for sure we got this Beast Gohan edit. Um, I remember this challenge. It was a superhero challenge in the server. Uh, legendary finish. So it's just like, you know, it became the Legends. Legendary finish. This art does look like Legends art. Uh, I forgot what the person's name was, but whoever drew this, I found their account on Twitter. Um, very good. Like, this is insane art. It's so good. Probably some of the best I've seen uh, for Beast Gohan yet. Um... I think the particles just seem a little out of place. Like, like you know, Ryan, if you guys watch Ryan style, like he, he he's not like a pro graphic designer, so like his particles kind of look like this. Uh, I think that's kind of what this is. Like, it's, it looks like a Ryan style thumbnail, which for him it gets it gets it, it works, it works, and it probably could work for uh, JB as well if he was making content stuff as well. Um, but for smaller channels, it's more important to have like really um, good thumbnails if possible. So I think in this case, you probably want to refrain from having this situation so either learning or just giving it like linear dodge or like a screen uh, overlay like a screen effect to lighten up i don't know something to make it like glow a bit more uh because and they are particles that's what they'd be doing uh maybe if they just like make them s smaller too i don't know um i don't think the legendary finish has to be purple but if you're going to do that then i think the background shouldn't also be purple i think it's a little bit too much purple like it's like almost like a pinkish at this point it's not even really purple and it kind of just looks a little awkward like i think you could have went for a dark dark purple as the background or just a, like i said black before like i think that could work um whenever you do something like this and it's not meant to be realistic i think black as a color for the background with just like a slight coloring to it works uh really well for the most part Granted, you have the right background. Um, uh, the next one he's got is a Super Saiyan Goku from Fighters. This render is cut out much more, uh, like much better. Um, there's still some parts where you can see, but it's it's it definitely way less visible. Um, from the dramatic finish was Broly. Okay. Um, I think this effect here is just a little bit 
overbearing. Like, if you got rid of it, I actually think this thumbnail would just look better. Like, if this uh, circular effect in the front here was just gone, I actually think it would look better. And if you even just, like, replace it with something else, uh, I think this would just be a better thumb. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, like I think, yeah, just, just get rid of this, honestly. I think it would just be better. And then, like, you could, like, put... Um, you could put electric coming from like the sides, not like from the top, because on the top like it gets too crazy. But if you put it from the sides and blur them, I think that would look nice for this for this type of thumbnail. Prime style looking thumbnail. UI Goku from Fighters. Uh, dramatic finish in the back. Okay. Um, I think yeah, I think a lot of the stuff for him is just these particles look a little bit too out of place because they're not really blended. So. You know, you just have a situation where it's just they're just there, and maybe a little bit too much. Because maybe yeah, it's probably a little bit too much on screen. Um, and then backgrounds for this guy, I definitely think would be helpful. Like if you like could just make them darker backgrounds and with effects. If, if you if you can make a background dark and then use the effects to make it look br like more colorful, I think it's better than just coloring the background. I think that that's a better way better way to do it. That's why I keep saying go for a darker background, but then you can use an effect color it and that can help brighten the background um i know this looks a little vague especially if you're not a graphic designer like it might be hard to understand but yeah that, that that's the best i could pretty much say that and last one he's got uh is a, a little oozy one okay i did remember when he made this uh this is pretty neat i mean for sure um for these types of thumbnails though like with like real life people i definitely say tone down on the effects just like particles not necessary here at all um and then you don't need to color the background at all um i think you can just go for a normal background i think what would work make this the best is like i see there's some a little uzi bird in the back i think that's what you uh you uh try to focus on you try to make the text glow like and just make it like pop and that was what would bring this one out and then lighting for uh the man himself to uh you know make it look more realistic i think that's what definitely what you do here but um, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. It, it gets. It, I, I don't know what this is for, but it's 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 neat. It's neat. Next, we've got so, um, aka Turnip. This man. I before we look at this guy. This guy has had the biggest glow up in any graphic design I've ever seen. He hasn't showed me any of his old stuff, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it. But he just got so much better. Um, it's actually insane. Like he he. This guy. He's good now. He's really good. He's really good. So, so it's definitely very, very talented. This is a monster thumbnail. I really like this thumbnail. This thumbnail looks cool. Um, in terms of, let's talk about things I would change first, and then we'll move into other stuff. So, things I would change. I think we can move just move the fifty-five percent thing like just slightly down. You know, it's, 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 it's bugging me that it's on its mouth. I don't know why. It's just bugging me a little bit. Um, I think the fifty-five percent itself maybe could use a little less stroke. I mean, I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't matter, but it, it could if you want to. Uh, background's nice. Background's nice. Um, you could, you could, like, tint it a little bit. Or even, like, it, like, blur it a little bit. That could look nice with, like, a, some rocks in the front. Um, I'm a sucker for rocks, like I said. You could do some of that. Um, this is definitely not one where I'd probably put lightning in the back. Uh, probably not. Just because of the way the background is. So, I think that's fine there. Um, but that's all I think I'm gonna nitpick there. Um, I really love the glow on him. Like, not the glow on the render itself, but the effect. It looks really nice. It's blurred and all that. The electric works really nice with this glow. And then the rocks as well. I think it's just all in all. It looks cool. It looks cool. This is definitely cool. Um, sure, there's probably more you could do here. But, like, maybe you could put something, integrate something into the text. Like, I definitely could see that. Um, but it, it's definitely, it gets the job done. It works. And it looks, it looks like, if you just look at it. It looks pleasing, like visually pleasing. So I, I like it. I like it. Out. We got Gogeta Blue and Vegeta Blue. Um, I think the glow, or not the glow, the effects are a little bit overbearing because, like, Vegeta. Okay, on this Vegeta side, like, there's like this blue in the back, but like you can't see anything because of it. Like you can't see. Like you can see the background on the bottom, but like if you got rid of the bottom, would you know what the background is to this? That that's. I think that's my main thing with this. I don't even know what why this is here. What what is this effect meant to be here for? I don't know. Um, the particles are nice, like subtle but very nice. 
and the glow on the renders themselves look nice. I think it's just like the extra stuff wasn't necessarily needed. Like the extra blue in the black back was needed. This is where you could use electric and probably do some cool stuff in the back, lightning in the back. I, it, it, it could look cool. Um, same with Gogeta Blue, honestly. I don't think it's as bad as Gogeta Blue though, because you uh, can see more of the background from the bottom than with Vegito render, but just a little stuff like that. I maybe make the uh, the background a little darker here. Maybe get some glow on the uh, vest and on the earring. But not bad, not bad. And then I don't know, it depends on how text will. Text can make or break a thumbnail, so you never know. All right, next we've got a Battle of Gods thumbnail. I like this God Goku aura, it looks cool. Um, like actual fire, because I mean, that's what God Goku be having. He has uh, the fire aura. And then Beerus, compared to God Goku, just looks a little bit lacking. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess because Beerus isn't meant to have like, a really cool aura, but you could have also, like there's like, there is an aura you can go for with Beerus. Um, with like this like, I don't know who, who aura would you compare it to. Oh, Beerus does have an aura. He has an aura. Um, if you if you know you you know what I'm talking about. Um, you could use like that type of aura. I don't know how, how to describe the aura either. But yeah, like if you watch the show or just like watch like one of the movies, like you'll see like he has like sometimes he'll have an aura on him. Um, even fighters, I think sometimes he will. I think if you try to replicate that and then combine with the god like, oof, this will look clean it already is clean but it would have looked real clean um i could definitely see some cool things with electric in the back of this too <clears throat> or like if you did some cool text work in the back oh this could look really nice i think at this point i would just either uh blur the background or like darken it even ever so slightly to where it's barely visible um Maybe put a versus in the middle. I think it could look cool. Or like a line like slashing. I don't know. It looks, it looks cool. It's cool. It's cool. Beerus render I wish was better quality. But, eh. Or overlay slash layout for Malachi. Um, why is this Rosé render? Why is the LF Rosé render so bad? And then the green Rosé one looks so good. Weird. Uh, the green Rosé side is what really pops to me. Because he's got the glow on the earring. Nice. The electric. This color. Like this like bluish purple looks really cool com compared to the other like pink uh rocks i think could have been tinted pink slightly um maybe some particles in the back like around him ish like barely around him like not not too much going not going out too much compared to him yeah i think that's why i would do that and then this side the left side the render yeah i mean we already talked about that uh, I guess I would have just maybe done something to like differentiate it from the other side a little bit Maybe put like the Goku Black Rift in the back of that one since I mean this is the Rosé with the Scythe Could have done something like that. I think that would look cool um, Just I don't know something to make this one side look a little bit more unique compared to the uh, other side But definitely this one looks good. Like it, I, I like looking at this. It looks nice. All right next We've got a UI Goku thumb with blue boys and Zenkai Green Vegeta uh, first glance, I mean, it's good. Uh, this UI glow here, maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. I, in my opinion, at least, it feels like it may be a little bit too much. Um, this green Vegeta in the back definitely looks like he was just thrown in there, which I think for context, he was, um, for what I heard him say, that, um, the person he was doing the commission for just added him, wanted them in last minute, so we have to just add him in. Um, so that's why, like, he looks super dark for some reason. Like, he, he just wasn't, he didn't have as much time to spend on him compared to the other two. Um, lightning in the back looking nice. I think this UI Goku Orange is a little bit too overbearing. I would have gone for, like, a purplish than a white bluish, I think, for UI Goku. But not bad. I think it looks good. Just that and then green Vegeta. I think he just needs to be brighter and, like, saturated a little bit and then he, he, he'd fit in a little bit better all right so next we got super saiyan 4 vegeta layout i like this i like this or on uh the super saiyan 4 uh the the left side with the like also just like the gaga it's like a fiery look it's just kind of like that i like that that's definitely really cool then we got this left uh right side the, with the electric okay this side's having electric see this is what i like compared to this other one he had this side is, like, there's differences. Even though this is the same card, different arts, obviously, but same card from Dokkan. 
but one's got like a different design like he went for fiery and then he went for electric on the side and then this one has the big bang coming out with some like particles on the sides here um this one has more glow on the render like the, i like this the, the contrast between the two sides looks nice. like if you had some really good text to this i think this could look really good um and on both sides i'd make the backgrounds darker i think at least for me for me that's my preference though i mean it, it is what it is um but yeah i like this this is like an ideal layout like where you have like two different like sure they're the same character but she made the sides look different so like they they stand out i like that that's that's good designing a minato uh well it's not minato profile picture but minato on the text uh asta profile picture here um i think the main thing with this one for me is the text just looks a little lacking Maybe that's why he's not doing a bunch of text on his uh, thumbnails, because maybe he's just not as good at text as editing, which is definitely true for me as well. So, I feel that. Uh, but yeah, the text just feels a little bit lacking. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, that's all I'm going to say with this one. It, the text just, like, it just doesn't hit as much as the edit, so. Golden Frieza layout. Um, something about this looks a little dirty. Like, it, like I, it's the colors. It's definitely the colors. It's a weird choice of color, like green with the gold, but then it's like a dookie brown. Like <laughs> I don't want to say it, but like who? It's it's weird. It's different. Um, it's definitely different. He went he went for a different look here. That's that's interesting. The text again, it just doesn't hit the same compared to the edit. Huh. I think this left side has a little bit too much. Maybe it's this gold or like brownish effect in the back. I'm not sure. Uh, the legends effects on the right side. Maybe you could just do something else, something different. And then I think that this is a prime example. If the backgrounds are darker and it, like and maybe colored to match the colors used in the front of the render, I think this would look a lot better. And then plus the the, the text. This one's this one's iffy. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Okay, so while editing this video, it seems that this video is going to be a very long one. So I've decided to actually split this up into at least two parts. Might end up being a three-part thing because the entire footage was an hour and a half long. And uh, as you see, we got about 40 minutes into this one. So we only got three people done. We still got a lot of people. But for the terms of just getting something out, I'm going to split this up. So this is going to be part one. And we're going to be doing part two and maybe a part three um, in the future. Um, not like anything too long in the future, definitely the near future, but I just need to, uh, take the chance to, uh, split this up because yeah, this otherwise it'll just take forever. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I will definitely be updating this. Like I said, once I get the other stuff, um, finished, but, um, that's enough for me Just stay tuned, stay tuned for part two and three. It's going to be definitely really good. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.